let's see how to create an actual page uh, landing page with PageFly inside Shopify. This is an actual online store that we have generated with the actual Shopify, but today what we're going to be doing here is to, let's say, create something much more easier with using PageFly inside Shopify. So let's get started. First of all, what you want to do is to install the PageFly application. Let's go directly here into settings. Let's go directly here into applications. And once we're here into apps, what you want to do is to focus into the upper side and click directly where it says PageFly. If you don't see absolutely anything you have to worry about, just click into search into the Shopify app store. Once we are in here into the actual app store, it's going to be showing you tons of stuff where you can just get started. So usually what we do is just to choose the option that says PageFly. Make sure that this one has an actual free plan because you don't want to pay for the demonstration or whatever. So the actual PageFly is going to be creating something like this, something really easy. So you can generate sales uh, for free. They are, of course, paid uh, plans and all of that. So let's move on now into the next step, which is creating a new landing page. Once the page fly has now been successfully installed into the Shopify dashboard within your Shopify administrator panel, what you wanted to do is to focus here into the dashboard and create your very first page fly builder. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down and you can see that we have now the uh, pages and we don't have really anything here. Usually what I do is to create an actual template. So I just focus with one product. Now inside this product, you can see that we have a lot of templates that you can choose. So I'm going to click here into typed, make sure that we have the product page already been enabled so you can start designing your landing page. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down and look out for one product that I kind of like. And then I'm going to click into, um, let's say select, so I can start designing and customizing my actual product. Once we are here, it comes the fun part. Use PageFly drag and drop editor to customize every aspect of your landing page. So you can add sections, images, text blocks, buttons, and much more easy. So you can experiment with different layouts and, and styles until you achieve the perfect look for your brand. So you can see here into this template that we have all the information about the product, um, more information about here, bedroom, what is the benefits of my product, create with high-end material, what is the texture of it, lastly we have the shop now, the testimonials, and that will be actually it. So what I just need to do is to edit the elements that I do want to see. As you can see here, we have the product details. So usually what you just need to do is to select the product you wanted to get started with, and a lot of elements should be added automatically. So I'm going to choose to see, for example, this magnetic cable clipped on the desk. I hit into select. And you can see that everything should be imported right away. So I have now my overview. I have surely anything there. So now what I wanted to do is to edit the elements that I do want to see or I do not want to see. Now, if you wanted to make sure that directly inside the applications go into extra functions. And here I'm going to go for upload from my computer all my pictures of the product that I'm actually creating the landing page. So I open them and I hit now into upload. So I have now access to all of this image directly inside the page fly. So I can go here back, I go for select. Usually this landing page has something great, which are the actual offers. Offers are actually great for people who are just getting started or just clicked the very first time into our actual product. So as you can see here, I have now my landing page. It doesn't look that bad. So you hit now into select. And lastly, you're going to hit now into save. In this case, it's going to be the product of the clip. So now let's sign to preview and pop this. Once you're happy with the landing page design, you want to take advantage of the page fly preview feature to see how it looks on a desktop and mobile devices. You want to make sure that any final adjustments as needed, then hit the publish button to make your landing page live into your Shopify store. And lastly, you can analyze the performance and the iterate. After your landing page is live, you can use the page fly to analyze the tool to track your performance and all of that. You wanted to make sure that you have edited directly here into the sales channel. If I go here into my online store and here into the product, I'm going to choose this actual section of my website. And as you can see, here's the actual uh, online section that we have generated. And down here, we should see the one that we generated with page fly. So it's going to be really important to delete the one that was previewed on here into the template so as you can see here is the product information of this template so what i just need to do is to hide this so uh, people are going to be seeing right away the page fly 
uh, landing page that we have generated directly here from this actual product. And there you have it, guys. This is how we can actually generate a page fly totally for free, only for one page. So creating a professional and high converting landing page for your Shopify store has never been easier, guys. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more Shopify tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time. See you soon.